Welcome back to Tigers Today. We have with us this evening as a special guest, a man that uh, is outstanding in his field. He is part of Major League history, a guy that uh, was the last guy to perform a spectacular feat. That was an unassisted triple play. His name is Ron Hansen. It was what, July 30th, 1968? That's right. You've probably talked about it since, haven't you? Well, a, f a couple of times maybe, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's a rarity. It, there's only been eight in the history of baseball dating back into the 1800s, and the last one was made in 1927 for mine. And uh, so that's 60-some uh, years with only one. So uh, sooner or later there'll be another one, but who knows when. Were there any options to you, or was strictly your uh, ball game all the way? Well, um, I guess there probably were options, but it's the kind of thing that you, you just do by instinct and, and don't really think about it. And uh, to be very truthful, I had no idea or never heard of an unassisted triple play before, so it was... Uh, just something that happened. Yeah, 1927. I think there were a couple of them in that in 1927, and then another in 1968. Okay, you're scouting for the Yankees now. Scouting has come a long way from the old days when guys would show up at ballparks and chat with each other and share information. What What is the toughest part of your job now? Well, uh, I do the uh, uh, American League East and the National League East for on a major league level uh, for the purpose of uh, trades and free agency. And uh, scouting now has kind of become uh, all specialized, so there's a lot of us involved. And uh, the toughest part is just evaluating ta talent as it always has been, I guess. You're looking uh, for the purpose of possible trades in the future, seeing what's going on there. There are other guys that look for tendencies, strengths, and weaknesses, I guess, in a, in a ball club in anticipation of an upcoming series. Well, that's true. We have an advanced uh, scout, as do most clubs, that follows a club uh, prior to their playing our ball club. And uh, we, he makes a lot of notes. Uh, he gets the uh, strategy or the, the ins and outs of what maybe the manager might be doing on a daily basis. He knows who's injured and who's not. Uh, he knows who's throwing good and who's not. And so uh, the game has come quite a ways uh, from a few years ago, and it's getting really specialized. Now, they're also what they call cross-checkers. What do these guys do? Well, they cross-check uh, mostly uh, the people that are going to sign uh, professionally at the beginning, the college kids or the high school kids or the kids that... Uh, uh, that they want to sign and they'll have a, a, a guy that goes in and and watches them for a while and uh, He's a specialist also and uh, he gives his opinion on whether the uh, it's worth the kind of money that they kind of get now So now we've got an expansion draft coming up that changes things a little bit too. You got to prepare for the future Well, that's true uh, as In the case of uh, say the Tigers or the Yankees or whomever we're going to lose some players uh, to the expansion draft and I think the important part of scouting uh, at the, in this particular year is to uh, Denver and uh, Colorado because it's very important for them to get a lot of their scouting in and, uh, and really know who is good and who is not good and what they want to do when the draft time comes. Ron, we appreciate your time. We always enjoyed watching you play and best of luck to you in the well, future. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure and nice to be here. Ron Hanson is now scouting with the Yankees. We invite you to stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. The Fox will join us as Tigers Today continues on pass. <laughs> 